Hi everyone, I'm Mady Gomez here. I am at the Girl Scouts headquarters because uh, big news. They are rolling out a new mobile, what would, what would you call this? STEM Center. This is pretty awesome and I'm gonna have Beth who is with the Girl Scouts tell us all about it because uh, this is huge news. Yeah, hi everybody, thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, this is our mobile STEM Center. It's our third STEM Center that we put together, uh, but this one's the first one on wheels, which is really, really exciting. This is awesome. Yeah. So tell us about the, the need to have a mobile STEM Center. Yeah, so we built our first uh, physical STEM Center, which we're standing right in front of, um, in November of 2017, and then our second one in Modesto uh, in August 2018. Uh, we learned a lot from those spaces and they're really popular, but not everybody can get to them. Right. Um, our parents and troop leaders, they want girls to have STEM programming, but can't always get to the STEM centers. So we decided to take our most popular activities and workshops and put it on the road and bring it to our girls and parents all over our council, which just serves 18 counties. 18 counties. 18 counties. Oh my goodness. So little girls from 18 counties will be able to work on activities once you guys get to their location. Can you yep. check out the Absolutely. actual RV? Yeah. This is awesome. So how many little girls fit in here? Uh, we're thinking about 12 to 15, depending on the girls' age. So we have about 15 adults in here, and it was a little snug. So the little girls, we can fit more. Perfect. For sure. All right, so let me turn this around and show us what we're looking at. Yeah, so welcome. Um, we have a big slide out, so that's slid out right now to give us lots of room. Um, but we have lots of desktop because we need lots of room for girls to do activities like engineering, programming robotics. Uh, doing space science activities like building a Mars rover. We need lots of tabletop space for them, so that's what we have here. Um, we have one of our robots as an example, some of our STEM badges that we offer. Um, so everything from space science, robotics, special agent, engineering, and then behind you we have a 3D printer. Whoa! Yeah, so that's one of the activities we offer in our Sacramento STEM Center and Modesto STEM Center and they're really popular and it's a really cool new technology that we wanted girls to have access to. So how is this gonna work? Because normally 3D printers can take a while. Take forever, <laughs> yes. So um, our staff person here in Sacramento figured out um, that if you limit the size of what girls can do, then uh, it takes a lot less time to print. So they get they just get exposed to that 3D design element and then they can print it in class. And if it doesn't finish, we'll mail it to them so that way they can still get their design. So when we talk about printing, what can they print? What are some of the items that little girls can print here? Um, mostly when they start out, they print a, like kind of like a little, like it's their initial on like, it almost looks like a little button. So it's pretty small, uh, but we've done uh, butterflies, we've done little sculptures, we've done drawings, we've done all sorts of stuff. It's been really, really cool to see what girls have done. It's really like limited by time and their imagination. But what's really cool is that there's a lot of libraries out there in our 18 counties that offer um, free use of 3D printers so they can learn to use it here and then continue to use it at their libraries, which is really fun. I'm stoked. I can only imagine those little girls being here just yeah. watching this happen in front of their eyes. Yes, it's really exciting. It's been really exciting to see what girls can do. Yeah, absolutely. So what else do we have back here? So um, something that's really fun that girls can do are swaps, um, and they're just little their special whatchamacallits have actually been somewhere. And this vehicle is gonna be going, like I said, to 18 counties. And this is like a cool Girl Scout tradition that we can use to kind of like connect everybody together. So they can leave a swap, they can take a swap. Um, it's just a fun way to, you know, share the Girl Scout experience with everybody. And then back here we have a marble machine, which has been really popular in the STEM centers. Um, girls can use anything in the trays or in that basket to make basically a roller coaster on the pegboard for a marble. Um, and they're really only just limited by the resources, the materials we have, and their imagination. So they can test and retest their designs. They can work by themselves or together. Uh, it's been really, really popular in both of our STEM centers. Gotcha. Perfect. And let's talk about being a Girl Scout. So yes. what does it mean to be a Girl Scout? What does it take to be a Girl Scout? So if you want to be a Girl Scout, you can just visit our website, girlscoutshcc.org, uh, and sign up that way. You can give us a call. We're happy to sign people up over the phone. We have recruitment events all over the place in all of our different regions so that people can meet someone and talk to them about joining Girl Scouts. But in order to use the mobile STEM center or one of our physical STEM centers, you do have to be a Girl Scout, and that's one of the benefits of being a member. Tell me about, um, okay, so you guys are rolling out next week. Yes. 
and yeah. you're going to 18 different counties. Yes. You're gonna. How long are you gonna spend there? And can you, do you have any counties that you can tell us where you'll be going next? Um. Well, we're starting here in Sac County because we are visiting some of our Title One troops, our partnership troops. We did receive um, two pretty good good grants, one from SMUD and one from Sac County. Um, and that's one way that we're, we were able to build this. And so we're bringing that STEM experience to them. But then this fall, we'll be traveling basically everywhere. <laughs> I want to visit all of our counties, um, all of our regions, at least once in the first six to eight months. So um, Girl Scouts can keep an eye on the activities page. They'll know what that is. Um, and they can sign up for activities there just like they would any of our other STEM workshops. Okay. And this was just one example of some of the activities you guys are going to have out there for little girls. and. So 15, 12 to 15 girls fit in here, but overall, you're going to have way more little girls participate. Yeah, our goal is just over 2,000 girls in our first year to serve. So while we're at um, a school, we'll have, we're at a troop meeting or a service unit event, we'll have some girls on the vehicle, some girls off, and then we'll rotate, so that way we can serve more than 15 at a right. time. Uh, but we'll be traveling all over the place. We want to serve as many girls as possible in our first year. Tell us about the need of having, you know, to, to show these little girls about STEM programs. I mean, you know, as we know in the pipeline out there, not many women uh, are, you know, represent us in, in those fields. Yeah, young girls have a pretty high interest in STEM, but it really starts to drop off in middle school. So we're hoping by bolstering that interest when they're younger and offering them the older girls stuff as well, some really cool experiences, they'll stay in the STEM pipeline. Because like you mentioned, there's a really big gap between men and women in STEM careers. Only about 24% of STEM careers are held by women. Yeah. So we want to get more women in there, more perspectives, more opportunities, and one way to do that is by offering activities like this. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Beth. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. And guys, I'm going to have more on this today at 5 and 6. And this is just awesome. This is great option. This is a great option for parents uh, to make sure their little girls can see what it's all about to be in, uh, in STEM, to see what uh, all these things that can offer and we've got to show uh, little girls about this at a young age make sure they they understand and they fall in love with it so later on in life they'll be able to represent us in uh, doing one of these STEM programs so again I'm gonna have more on this today at 5 and 6 thank you so much for watching